Hi, my name is Jim and I was retired. I love living in an area with four seasons. Sometimes we get them all in one week. But the most important season right now is tax season. Have you done your taxes yet? Tax day is Monday, April 18 this year. In this video, I'm going to talk about the not so free filing phenomenon. Stay tuned. Now, I have used TurboTax for more than a dozen years. <laughs> it's a great software, and for most taxpayers, it provides a comprehensive, easy, do-it-yourself way of doing your taxes, an alternative to a professional tax preparer. When I was young, about my kid's age, I remember the paper booklets that you used to use down at the post office and the long hours of crunching numbers to file taxes the old-fashioned way. So when there's an alternative for a free file for anyone earning less than $73,000 a year, I urged my children to go try free file to file their taxes online. Both did on their own with little help from dad. And I was shocked to learn though that they both ended up paying more than I did for TurboTax home and business. Now I paid $85.20 for a CD download app version of the home and business TurboTax. Of course, I bought it at BJ Warehouse in December. It was on sale and I got that 5% back for buying something in the warehouse. The physical app version includes free federal filing and a free download of your state version. And so I got New Jersey's downloaded free, but I ended up having to pay $25 to e-file the state return along with the federal e-filing. So that cost me another actually $26.66 with sales tax. So I paid a total of $111.86 to prepare and file our federal and state married filed jointly tax returns. My daughter in Ohio logged on to TurboTax since she filed hers online last year with TurboTax and she followed the links for the free version to start the process. She had a W-2, a combined 1099 interest and dividend from her broker and a 1099 interest only for her Marcus savings account. She plowed through the online in interviews. She had to call me up with a few questions. Did I get the third stimulus check? And I told her to check her bank statements and check. She got the check. Then all of a sudden she got a notice that said she needed to upgrade to the deluxe version to continue because she contributed to a 403b and she might be eligible for that retirement savings contribution credit. So before you know it, she was paying $59 for the deluxe version plus $49 for the Ohio version plus taxes. She paid a total of $115.83 to file her federal and state returns. Hey, but she did it all by herself. I'm proud of her. So then I cautioned my son about the upsell and he decided to try H&R Block's free online version. He also went through the questionnaire and hit a snag because they said since he had capital gains on his 1099B, he had to use the premium version for federal and state returns. So he paid $69.99 for the federal and $44.99 for the New Jersey state return and e-filed both. That's a total of $114.98. Both of my kids, I'm proud of them, they did their taxes on their own. Both of them tried free filing only to find out it was not so free. Now. None of us have complicated returns. So why are the tax preparation companies coming up with about the same $115 
to file your state and federal taxes? Well, the Federal Trade Commission would like to know too. They have filed a complaint against Intuit, the owner of TurboTax, for using the term free a little too freely. According to the FTC, TurboTax had ads that sometimes consisted almost entirely of the word free spoken repeatedly, misleading people to believe that they can file their taxes for free with TurboTax. In fact, most tax filers can't use the company's free service because they're not available to millions of taxpayers, including all of those folks in the gig economy that get 1099 miscellaneous. So, or if you earn farm income, a lot of rural America does that, and you end up not being able to use the free version. In fact, the FTC said in 2020, about two thirds of the tax filers could not use TurboTax's free product. Quote, we are asking the court to immediately halt this bait and switch and to protect taxpayers at the peak of filing season. For the 2021 tax returns, consumers with adjusted gross income of 73,000 or less are supposed to be able to use products on the IRS free file program, which is offered by several different companies to file federal tax returns and in some instances, state tax returns entirely for free. However, neither of TurboTax nor H&R Block are part of this program anymore. Even though they advertise free file products, both of those companies dropped out. Now Intuit dropped out in the summer of 2021 in an announcement and said they would no longer take part in the IRS free file program. H&R Block actually dropped out the year before in the summer of 2020. Both backed out because of restrictions on marketing within the free file program. From my children's experience with trying to free file, I can tell you both H&R Block and TurboTax have similar sales practices. So why is the FTC suing Intuit and TurboTax and not H&R Block? I don't know. Let's look at this from opensecrets.org and look at how the two companies and their PACs provided money to federal candidates. Now, it's not surprising that both gave a little bit more to Democrats than Republicans. You'd expect that. But look at the totals here. Through February 1st, 2022, Intuit had contributed only $61,500 to federal candidates, whereas H&R Block had contributed 148,000, a little bit more than double what Intuit had provided. So maybe the FTC is just going after the cheapskates? I don't know, we'll see. It is a warning though, if you think it's a free file, probably not. Now, I ended up buying my product on sale and that might be the better approach Go into it understanding you're going to have to pay something to get your taxes done. Get the best price you can. Free file? Great idea. It's not here yet. I'm going to conclude with my standard warning. I am not an accountant. I'm not a financial planner. I have no initials after my name. So take these as entertaining ideas from one educated consumer to another. Always do your own due diligence and seek out a professional if you need one. See you next time.